The seam you want to use for very fine fabrics, and I just want to give you an example here, you can see it blended in, that is a chiffon. And when you work with chiffon, it's very important that you have the cleanest finish possible because it might be visible to the outside. You don't want the overlocking to shine through. And in that case, you can use a French seam, which you can see here. The idea of the French seam is that you first put the uh, wrong sides together and sew them and then turn it and then with right sides together sew it together again so you get this really slim seam. Now what you don't want to do is have a really thick French seam because it doesn't look very good at all so you want it only for very fine garments and you want it to be very slim. So how do we do this? Fetch yourself some sample fabric again and let's do this together and I'm going to just imagine that this here is now right side facing up okay so you always have to have the right side facing up first when you do your French seam and then we're going to sew it together now for the French seam I would not do a very big stitch length I would do a fairly small stitch length which is the one that comes automatically on your machine tends to be 2.5 and I'm going to go under and now if you have a seam allowance of one centimeter in your pattern you need only half a centimeter now for or even less for your first stitching line which means it's about half of the presser foot and I'm going to sew that first so we do the same again we're going to lock in our stitches a little bit down and then reverse on it and you can see here on my fuff machine I've got an actual line there but I also got a line down here if you look closely that I can line up with and that's my half a centimeter so that's what that line is for so until it's no longer visible that's where I line up I don't even look at the top and then I keep it nice and steady in the same place all the way up and now comes the crucial part really what you want to do is trim it you don't want to trim it too much but not too little either because the last thing you want to have is a little fibers sticking out of the sewing and I actually did a sample years ago actually and I found that as well and here you can see that I didn't cut it back well enough and you can see here we've got fiber standing out, right? So that's not what we want. So it has to be cut back further than what we're going to sew, but not too much. As you can see here, we're doing about three millimeters. Yeah, and we're going to sew at five millimeters. Now, a lot of people will say iron it. I'm not a great fan of that. I tend to not iron it. Of course, you could do that. Um, I'm just gonna, I am half of my sample so we can compare the two and see if it makes any difference at all I don't think it does so what you want to do then is hold it really taut and then pull it in one direction and iron your seam into one direction I'm just only going to do it at the top half here just so we can compare this fold this over here and then we're going to sew it again so where I haven't done it, what I do is wiggle it. Now obviously when it's a straight seam, this actually works quite well as ironing, but if it's in a curve, well I'm not sure. But that's up to you, try both. And if you think that you iron, want to iron it first, then that's fair enough. And if you don't, then you don't. Right, back to the sewing machine. Let's do this perfect French seam here. And I used to do a lot of French seams actually because I worked for a designer called Carol Waller and all her stuff was chiffon, <laughs> chiffon, organza, more organza. And it was pretty, pretty hard to work with all her stuff. So I'm a bit of an expert on French seams, right? So what we're going to do now is again lock in our stitches. And we're going to line it up with a half a centimeter mark again. So you want it nice and flat, so use your hands for that. And on my machine, it's actually where the teeth start. And um, I've always used that uh, gauge here to, you know, steer me right. And that's what I'm looking at. And again, do not look at your needle at all. And then you just want to wiggle out your seam and keep going. 
really, really not difficult to do a French seam. Open your stitches at the end. So let's have a quick look at this here and you can see that looks absolutely gorgeous. And then when I open this out, you get a beautiful seam as well. So what do we do again? It doesn't matter whether it's your French seam or any other seam. You want to iron that seam flat first. Yeah, and then you have your clapper tool right close to you. And again, it's from Cottage Lane. I love those guys. I'm not affiliated or anything. I just love it. I really, I use it all the time. It's a good investment. It's only $16. And then I pull it to the back in this case, right? And iron it. You can also do it by, you know, using your fingers like that to pull it apart. And then you take your clapper and you press it down. And that will give you a really, really nice seam. Wow. Sharp as anything. Look at this. Now that's what I call a really nice French seam. Look at this. That is absolutely stunning. Very sharp. And that was the French scene, so that's fairly easy. Mm -hmm.